welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ryan, and today I am going to talk about subspecies. I'm going to put a little disclaimer that if you happen to hear the shrieks of children in the background, it is because it recently snowed in Pennsylvania and there's a bunch of kids sledding down the hill that's directly next to my house, so we all get to enjoy that. So, this is obviously a full moon production. It is the full mooniest of full moon movies by far. It, wow. So, I just watched this for the first time about 20 minutes ago. Movie started out with uh, what I assume to be a vampire just based on his mouth coming to visit whom we find out it is, is his father. This vampire's name is Radu. I don't remember dad's name, but there's some sort of celebration or ceremony that's coming up where the bloodstone that dad has will be going to the second born son, Stefan, because the first born son, whom we meet, is um, apparently very evil and terrible and he feels like if he gets the bloodstone then shit's going down, it's going to be bad. He then deploys a very slow moving um, little cage down on Radu who then proceeds to break off his disgusting fingers, throw them on the ground, they turn into little claymation demons which were freaking adorable, and uh, go push the thing back to make very slow moving Cage come back up and free Radu who then stabs his dad, takes the bloodstone of course, and there's most of the plot regarding the bloodstone. Now we meet three ladies who are compiling data for this town's uh, folklore. It's part of a thesis, I'm assuming, because I think they're they're all going for their masters. It was really hard to pay attention to this movie just because it moved so slow. I'm sorry if you're a fan of this movie. I have a really short attention span and it was hard to get every detail. So they're compiling their data for the celebration that it was, um, the vampires helped to defend the townsfolk by killing the Turks, by ripping their throats out. But then you're kind of like, well, vampire lore, like, wouldn't they become vampires then too? But whatever, we'll just glaze over that. So amidst this celebration, Evil Radu has the bloodstone. Stefan, the second born, becomes kind of in love with one of the, uh, the ladies who's compiling research, which makes everything way more difficult and sticky and complicated but uh, Radu starts to realize that he's super into one of the chicks and then starts to pick off everyone kind of around to get to her to get to him because he's kind of a dick and that's my cat we'll leave it off right there as this is spoiler free what did I like about this movie um I mean it, it was kind of like I said, it's it's the full mooniest of full moon productions, and I did enjoy that, that it was really campy and over dramatic, and the effects aren't great, but it is what it is, and I did appreciate it for that. I guess I'll just go on to my dislikes. Radu had that voice where he's trying to, like, strain talk, and I just wanted him to clear his throat and just talk normally or like have a lozenge or a glass of water or a glass of blood. Whatever's going to clear your throat, dude, just do it, please. For the love of God. Oh, I like could not stop thinking like I can barely hear what he's saying. He sounds like he's straining. I can't get past that. Also his hands. What the hell? Who was like, this is really scary. We're going to make them like this long off of his hand and just stupid looking and spindly and obviously they were easy to break because those things look delicate as fuck. Not scary. I was not scared of him. He always looked like he was kind of like creepily grinning like he farted and he's waiting for everyone else to catch on. Like, I'm not scared of that. I'm generally like not the biggest fan of vampire movies just because it seems like a lot of them romanticize what vampires are. And I understand that Radu was... Oh, here's another thing. The movie's called Subspecies, but they don't actually really explain that till the movie's almost over, which I was like, oh, that's why this is called Subspecies, because Radu is the product of a vampire and an evil witch, 
or something or like a spider would explain those stupid fingers and then Stefan is the product of a vampire and immortal so he's all pretty and Radu's all jacked up but I was like oh subspecies I got it so dumb um yeah I mean Radu was gross and I like my vampires gross they're parasites that's what they are like that's that's just their thing they're not supposed to be sexy and Brad Pitt and Tom Cruise in Interview with the Vampire however Christian Slater was very sexy in that movie but we'll leave it there so what do I rate this movie I give this like I don't know a 1.5 out of 5 I watched it I'm going to watch the second one just because I'm curious now I spent more of my attention blending my eyeshadow than I did watching this movie because at no point was I like oh there's a huge plot point coming up I gotta pay attention I was like yeah the pacing of this just seems like it took forever to get anywhere to get even to one kill that wasn't the first kill of dad in the beginning it just uh like there was so much explaining and dumb stuff and girls taking naps and whatever just clogging up this movie that they could have just gotten to the point but if this is your favorite movie that's your opinion I respect that I like a lot of bad movies this just wasn't one of them that's not to say that I don't like a lot of full moon movies however there are some that just let you down that's just the way it is I found this movie streaming on the Tubi app that's T-U-B-I I will find out if it's available on any other streaming platforms as well as physical copies. I will put the director and the release year in the description box down below. Don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to have you. Have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts? Did you want to give Radu like some chloroseptic spray or something? Have you seen the sequel? Are there more than two of these movies that exist? Let me know. Um, what are your thoughts on Full Moon in general? I'm a big fan of the Ginger Dead Man, and I think Thanks Killing, I think that's, that's another Full Moon one that I really enjoyed. Just because I knew what I was getting into, it didn't try to actually be a serious movie. But, um, like the video if you did like the video. Like the video if you didn't like the video. If you think my opinion's shitty, that's your prerogative, and I respect that. Please don't forget to help hit the notification bell to be updated of all my future uploads and live streams. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Snapchat, not Snapchat, I'm not giving that out, <laughs> Instagram and Twitter at Reanimator. You can also find my, um, you, m -m -m -m, this movie fucked me up. You can also find my solo and uh, reviews with the groom in podcast form via the Farsighted Network on iTunes. Also, please do check them out on Facebook. And yeah, I guess I'll watch the sequel now. So bye guys.